and why did you kiss a girl in the I explain. Fuck you, I'm saying you waited for me to go to the toilet so that you could kiss her. When I say do not kiss anyone. Hey guys, it was the party of the year tonight. Hey God, this party was a lot of fun. The housemates they were super lit this is a party and a half and a lot happened if this is your first time here i am chicks js and i bring you all the hot tea from the big brother and zanzi show and as you can see your faves have started laima and jared so the party was late everyone seemed to be having a lot of fun unlike all the other dry party i like the costume theme the fact that it was um, a costume party and for the first time i felt like everybody actually looked nice in their costume even Pali, who usually has difficulties getting her size she looked super nice in this particular outfit so big brother went all out their shoes were matching everything was pretty good the guys looked very <laughs> funny old school type but, and everyone seemed super comfortable in these outfits like you can't take away the fact that these girls they're comfortable in their skin or even with titties showing out everything i'm just like hmm, these babes but they all looked very nice and it was actually a nice party and of course the usual dramas were always there was always there anyway um so jared was trying to be a good guy always <laughs> but things just happened to him seemingly anyways he had promised laima that he wasn't going to kiss anyone or do anything that she won't like so as much as he called he was like really just dancing and taking it easy but trust um umpumi when it was umpumi's turn to dance with him um, Pumi was obviously making advances and I think he didn't have a choice or he seized the opportunity more like to kiss her when it was his turn to dance with her and of course Laima already saw all of that going on and was not happy with it at some point she had um, changed her mood and you could tell she wasn't happy with the situation of course another person that was what you have noticed else else oh my god else was working full time in this party i saw her licking papa ghost face but i think that that was because lerato put people on a mission to go and ask ghost for a kiss i see what he does but i don't think ghost kind of obliged her but i saw her like actually licking his face and leaving there then once she saw that um um J jared went into the house she went after him and of course was kissing him somehow laima entered and i don't know the type of um, conversation they were having and he could jared quickly told laima that no they were fighting they've been fighting because um else feels like he's just kicking her to the curbs like putting her on the side and Naima was like that's not what i'm asking you i'm asking you why you kissed him for me he was like no and Pumi kissed him not um he, he he wasn't the other way around and she's like when i ask you to not to kiss people i mean business don't kiss them but meanwhile else very sleek had done what she came there to do and she had gone her own way so i don't know but we we have to give jared a shout out he actually tried to keep up in this party he was like trying to blend amongst the girls he shared himself evenly he was on job full-time job so shout out to jared and i don't think Lema was happy anyway so jared was trying to pacify her once they got back into the house see the way he reached out to her and gave her this passionate kiss he kept on looking at her and telling her to other chill. than that the party again was super late we saw zanaya spending a lot of time with me Le it could there be something there they were actually dancing giggling they actually spent a lot of time together z was the life of the party like she really really rocked the night melee as well and we saw lerato having fun solo i like that she and papa goes they let each other breathe and they actually try to have a good time with or without each other at the party so that was it um for the party but the girls had an agenda when they came back into the house they did this thing where they would go to each guy and then they would just go and bombard the guy kissing his neck touching his body all of that Shah trying to arouse every guy they did it with papa ghost papa ghost was at first he was like oh no this doesn't affect me though but when he saw that they kept going harder he was like yeah 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 it affects me it affects me so they did it with papa ghost they did it with um 
Sinaye, they did it with Jared. Of course, Jared, a very willing partner. You know, Jared is a partner in crime for anything. So they did it with Jared. In fact, more than once, like twice or three times. Lema was just looking at them in one corner, smiling. Um, Chuenza even joined in, joined them in their shenanigans as well. So that was also fun to watch seeing them going from place to place and of course they reached out to mac jr and you all know what mac jr did he ran mac jr knows how to run from those situations so that is what uh, mac jr did eventually they decided that it was time for the girls to give the guys a treat like a proper lap dance and they lined up all the guys like they made sure every single guy was there but for the girls lerato um, didn't agree to participate um, but most of the girls were there and they gave the guys a lap dance. Um, trust Mac Jr. He ran away just when they wanted to start. Then young Papi as well at some point. I guess he couldn't take it because Z was on fire. She was raising her legs. She was turning upside down. She was like, I'm like Z, baby. When did you become this? Anyway, this housemates are proper wild. Wild, wild. wild so here's a clip of some of the action. Is. Chuenza, that is Jared and Umpumi. Like, guys, everyone was lit. Uh -huh. So, Chuenza tried to lap dance on Papa Go. See the way he sent her away. I say, yeah, now what? But anyway, trust Chuenza. She pulled him up about it and he apologized. He was like, no, that's not what I was trying to do. I wasn't pushing you away. I was advising you. I was trying to slow you down. Um, okay, I'll stop advising you, all of that. But, hmm. We saw what you did right there, Papa Goes. Don't come and sweet talk anything. But Chuenza, sweet Chuenza, actually hugged it out. And, you know, that one is a free spirit. Very, very happy soul. So, guys, that's it. With all the shenanigans of the night. Meanwhile, some people had guilty conscience. Sinaye and then Taki. Taki was like, oh, he didn't do anything. His kisses were not too deep. He only pecked uh, Mile. And even Laima was trying to kiss him. And he said no. But you know, they could have been like Mac Jr. And they could have walked away. And Sinai is like, he doesn't take any of these things that seriously. And he's like, oh, he hopes that his girl understands. He's holding his girl's bangle in his hand. And all of these things. He's just hoping that she knows that he's just doing it to survive. He's trying to survive. I'm like, please leave your relationship at home you have all messed up all of you i have relationship i have relationship but you are all running things anyway we, we are here for the fun i hope you guys enjoyed it a lot happened actually but i hope i've been able to give you a quick recap about the saturday night party and the saturday night after party yeah as you can see the housemates are super late having fun again tomorrow is eviction sundays and fingers crossed we'll see who goes home please give this video a thumbs up very very important and again please subscribe thanks for watching guys see you tomorrow bye guys